Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the water inlet valve in the Frigidaire washer. It's going to be a very easy repair. It should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a number two square bit screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and a torque 20 screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new water inlet valve. The water inlet valve automatically controls both the cold and hot water flow into the washer. It's operated by the signals from the main electronic board. There are several reasons for the water inlet valve to be replaced. Not shutting off completely, bypassing water into the tub, no cold or hot water at all, very slow feel, and finally, a water leak caused by the cracked valve. Keep in mind that the slow water feel could be easily fixed by cleaning plugged screen filters inside the water inlets. We need to take the top off. Using the number two square bead screwdriver, unscrew the two screws at the back of the top panel, pull the panel back slightly, and lift it off the washer. Press the tab and unplug the power cord connector. Remove the green ground wire. Using the pliers, squeeze the tab and push it in to disconnect the power cord from the bracket. Next, using the number two square bead screwdriver, remove five screws, two on the top and three at the back and take the rear mounting bracket off the cabinet. Using the same screwdriver, take out the single screw on the right and remove the drain hose retainer and put it aside. Using the same number two square bead screwdriver, take the screws that holds the control board out. Next, we need to remove the rear panel. There's a bunch of screws. We're going to use a torque 20 screwdriver and remove them all. Be patient. And we're done with the screws. Now we can remove the panel and swing it to the side out of the way. Take a picture of the wire plugs connections and remove all the plugs from the valve solenoids with a flat blade screwdriver. The water inlet valve is attached to the dispenser housing by three screws. Using the screwdriver with a number two square bit, remove the screws and take the water inlet valve out. Well, now we need to remove the gaskets of the old water inlet valve. So I can put them on a new one. This is the old water inlet valve next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. And now we're going to put the gaskets onto the new water inlet valve. Push them in so it will go into the groove inside. Let's put a little bit of a soap on the gaskets. It will go in easily. Now we're going to spread them around. Yep, just like that. And the next would be inserting it into the dispenser. And now we're going to secure it with uh, three number two square bit screws. And now let's connect the wire plugs to the solenoids. If you don't remember how they were, you can always check with the picture that you supposedly took earlier. Mm. 
Now we're gonna place the rear panel back, swing it back, pull on the drain hole a little bit. And okay, and align the holes on the top here. So now we can secure it with the screws. Right. I'll just put a couple of screws on each side. And now we can install the rest of the screws. Okay, now we're gonna attach the motor control board. All right, so we're gonna put two number two square bit screws in to secure the motor control board to the rear panel. Install the drain hose retainer and secure it to the rear panel with a number two square bit screwdriver. Now we can put the rear mounting bracket back and secure it with the screws using the same number two square bit screwdriver. Push in the plastic retainer with the power cord. Clip the ground wire onto the rear bracket. Connect the power cord plug. Then install the top panel. Place it on less than half inch from the front panel and slide it forward to lock. Secure it with a couple of number two square bit screws. Plug the washer in and make sure it runs good. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.